Well, just yesterday I finished the uh, video for relocating the trailer connector from the box of my truck to the back bumper. So I'll just give you a quick look at that and then what we're going to do today. So right there is the uh, trailer connector that I moved. And right there is the hole we're going to repair today. So first of all I'm going to take my flap disc and clean this up, get it down to metal so we can weld. Second I'm going to cut a piece of steel and a second piece of steel for the round. Uh, because I'm using a flux core welder I want two layers or three, even three layers of steel there so we don't burn through. And then we're just going to do a little bit of uh, Bondo or JB weld on there depending on the results. And hopefully we'll have it all done in a few hours. I'm using a different camera because I'm going to throw a lot of sparks. Now I'm going to cut a piece of uh, material to fit in behind there, if it's possible. Alright guys, <clears throat> this hole is exactly 2 inches. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a 2 inch circle. And believe it or not, this scabby old piece of steel is going to be my... Uh, uh, steel supply. There's my circle. I don't know if you can see my marks there. Okay. But first I'm going to buff this clean before I cut it out so that uh, I'm not dealing with a small piece of material and my fingers get all cut. So once again I'm going to shut you off and come back when this is buffed clean. We have now buffed this clean on both sides. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got a circle, a two inch circle drawn there. It's very rough, but it actually is two and an eighth inch. So now I'm going to cut this out with a pair of tin snips, and then we'll shape it on the grinder after I get it cut out. Yes, I'm using a right handed cutters with a left handed guy, because I have become so uh, used to using right handed tools that I can hardly use left handed tools. I have left-handed snips, but I find them awkward. And that's something. take it over to the grinder and we'll make it exactly two inches. So I'll turn you off while I'm doing the grinding. And we're doing this so that this fits in here. We just want it to barely fit. That should work. Now we have to build one for the back. That'll be harder. 
All right, guys. Even though this is going to go in behind, I'm setting it up from the front. So I've got one, one riveted hole already, and I've got marked where the other hole is, we hope. Now on the diagonal measurement, we're two and three quarter inches to this X, so that'll be my double check. So the next time you see this, it'll have a hole drilled in it, and we should have another rivet in that exact hole. And then we're going to bring it up from the back, from behind the fender, and rivet it in if we can. Who knows? Alright guys, here's our piece of steel that's going to go behind the fender. Now these rivets are like Clecos for the uh, guys who uh, have more tools than me. But if this is what's going to happen, and then that circle, the two inch circle will go on top of this, and then we'll have a two layered heavy gauge sheet steel to weld with, with the flux core welder. All right guys, I've switched cameras for better resolution. I have a, a wire down the fender connected to that piece of steel you saw me build. I'm going to bring it up. I've got a screw stuck into that piece of steel so I can hold on to it while I rivet it onto this location and to this location. So let's just see how this goes. <laughs> Nothing ever goes as planned. <clears throat> Gotta go underneath and have a look. Let me just do it from outside the box so I don't have to jump in and out. It's absolutely perfect. So we're going to leave that like that until we're ready to rivet. There we go. Now I just got to figure out which corner is which. Don't drop it, my son. Here we go. Now I uh, get rivets. I could use screws here and then just undo the screw, but the rivet will hold it on a little tighter. And we'll just drill it out when we're done. You can see how the rivet pulls the material up to... We're still recording. Yay! Up to... Grid. All right, folks, and now this is going to be our complete patch. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a little weld here and here to hopefully hold the steel in. And then we'll uh, drill out the rivets and do the same thing there. And then we'll add this and do an edge weld all the way around. 